Hello Lana, uh, welcome once again to Lana's Coach. So we want to take a look at some of the top 10 most marketable engineering courses that you can always pursue here in Kenya. Now, along this particular video, I'll also introduce you to some of the best free resources that you can actually uh, use in order to uh, get free certificates from these particular engineering courses. I'll also introduce you to some of the very best careers that you can join once you have graduated from these particular uh, courses. So feel welcome. Now, uh, that particular video introduces us to the very first engineering course that we need to learn, and that is aeronautical engineer or aerospace engineering, right? Now, these people are concerned with making aircrafts and also ensure that they keep them flying, right? So you are, you are supposed to understand how to design aircraft systems and how to monitor aerodynamic performance of aeroplanes, right? So as an as an aerospace engineer you will also be handling other air-based systems including spacecraft uh, vehicles machines uh, so that you fly them high in the outer space including the satellites missiles and more so a typical job for you will be uh, maybe you can be an aerospace engineer you can do flight test engineers you can be rocket engineers you can uh, do flight systems test engineer that is after you have graduated so ideally this is a very lucrative uh, kind of course that i'll add you if you have the right qualification uh, to actually pursue so let's look at the second uh, engineering course civil engineering is a major to consider if you want to design bridges dams roads tunnels buildings railroads pipelines and even some civil engineers will work on aircraft or spacecraft structures and more but depending on what projects you want to work on and what aspect of those projects you want to work on, you will go into certain subfields which can lead to very different career paths. The main subfields I will talk about that you can dive into in college are structural engineering, geotechnical, water resources, and transportation. All civil engineers will take mostly the same classes their first few years and learn the very, very basics of all of these subdisciplines. Then maybe their third, but especially their last year, they will take a lot of electives in the field or maybe fields they want to focus on. All right, uh, perfect. So the second engineering course is civil engineer. So as a civil engineer, you will be able to design, build, design, uh, of course, operate, construct, and maintain different infrastructure uh, projects, both within the public and private sectors. Uh, this particular job also will include uh, construction of roads, buildings, airports, tunnels, name them. So a typical uh, job for a civil engineer will be like you are going to be uh, either a civil works engineer, you can be a survey or site civil engineer, you can be a structural engineer, you can be a civil design engineer, you can also be a civil engineering technician. So this particular domain of civil engineering comprises of different uh, options within this particular uh, paradigm. So ideally, all these are available jobs. Once you have graduated, you can always undertake these different uh, jobs. So that is also one of the best engineering courses that I'll urge you to pursue. So let's take a look at the third engineering course. Computer engineering is the combination of electrical engineering and computer science. As in, if you have the electrical engineering curriculum and the computer science curriculum, which don't share really any classes, the computer engineering curriculum is literally 50% of the EE classes and 50% of the CSC classes. Now this only accounts for your core major classes. It does not include the elective classes in your last years where you can choose from a long list of computer engineering, computer... All right, so computer engineering, uh, is another very marketable engineering course. So here, of course, you need to have an average grade of C plus in your KCSE, right? And of course, you need to be good in maths, physics, and chemistry. And of course, to add on to that, you need to have some passion with computers, right? 
So as you can see, you will blend in between computer science and maybe co uh, the core computer hardware so that you have the right skills uh, to be able to be uh, the best computer engineer, right? So that is the third option. Uh, the fourth option uh, when it comes to engineering courses is software engineer, right? I've said many times ab above number that this is a very uh, lucrative uh, course and you can always be self-employed if you know how to create softwares. It could be application softwares, it could be system softwares, and of course you can also be a good web designer, right? Uh, if you feel that you want to be employed, you can work for companies such as Safaricom, Google, right, Facebook, Microsoft, uh, just to name but a few. So this is one of the uh, recent uh, engineering courses that actually you need to align yourself with if you have passion in software development. Uh, the fifth engineering course is electrical engineering, right? So as an electrical in engineer, you'll be uh, required to handle uh, um, very many installations, right, of equipments uh, as well as devices that uses electronics. You need to work with the electricity. I mean, this is not my field, right? And so on, right? So typical jobs for you will be like you'll become an electrical engineer. You can also become supervisor. You can also become an electro te uh, le electrical technician. You can become electrician. You can also become a boiler technician. You can see uh, there are also there are very many options or jobs that you can actually get within this particular engineering field. So if electricity is your thing, <laughs> all the best. That is a very, very marketable uh, engineering course. Uh, number six, we also have another very marketable engineering course that is mechanical engineer. So this is concerned with analysis, design and development, and installation and general troubleshooting of uh, moving parts, right? So you can also become a researcher so that you develop new uh, designs. And of course, you can al also do variety of jobs. As you can see, you can become a mechanical engineer, you can become a maintenance engineer, you can also become a plant engineer, you can become maintenance technician. And of course, you can also become one of the mechanical trainers. Yeah, So there are a whole lot of opportunities when it comes to mechanical engineering. So that is another a very marketable engineering course that you can always pursue, right? At number seven, we have another one, mechatronics engineering, right? These are very unique uh, field in engineering that will teach you a variety of skill sets, right? That you need in this advanced modern world of cars manufacturing, right? So not only are you going to specialize in auto industry, but uh, you also need to understand that mechatronic engineering will expose you to very many tons of appliances, which includes um, uh, your washing machines, actually managing dishwashers, automatic ovens, and so on, right? So with this kind of knowledge and skill, you have very many opportunities. So typically you can become mechatronic engineer, you can become a service technician, you can become a maintenance engineer, and so on and so forth. So yes, that's why it's all, uh, it falls under this list of the most marketable uh, engineering courses, right? And maybe not to scare you, you need to be very sharp. And that's why uh, for you to be able to be a, mechan a mechatronic engineer, you need to actually have a score of A, right? So most universities here in Kenya actually admit students who have gotten straight A's in KCSE. At number eight, we have another a well-known and marketable course. It has been here for a while, and that is telecommunication engineering. So if you want to troubleshoot telephone systems, uh, both in public and private domains, uh, this is your field. So if you're wondering what these people do in Safaricom uh, for us to be able to make phone calls and so on, this is what they do, telecommunications, right? So <clears throat> you can stand a chance to work with Safaricom or Airtel. Name these tele uh, telecommunication companies that you know 
right? So you can be able to do some testing, repair of telecommunication networks in those particular companies, right? So typical jobs will include telecommunications engineer, you will become a, an engineer in telco, you can also become an engineer in transmission planning, you can also become an IP co-engineer, network monitoring engineer, uh, just to name but a few, right? So this particular engineering uh, course also presents uh, some very uh, uh, in-demand opportunities that you can always uh, get to understand. So we also have number nine, uh, the other marketable uh, engineering field. Now, most people will debate on this, agricultural engineering. Now, why is it maybe marketable? Is because people are actually going back to agriculture to make ends meet, right? We have uh, people who want new systems to maybe improve their produce, right? So as an ag agricultural engineer, uh, this particular area will involve you constructing, designing, and generally managing uh, farm equipments and machinery, right? But you need to have a passion, just like the software engineer that we mentioned, right? So it will be very advantageous on your side if you have some agricultural background. In this particular field, you are likely to become a maintenance a technician, irrigation and drainage engineer, agricultural, agricultural engineer trainer, agricultural engineer in some governments will hire you, and of course you can become agricultural technician. So yes, that's the reason as to why it's marketable, though most people will say that it's not actually marketable, it is, right? And lastly, at number 10, we have automotive engineering. So if you have passions in vehicles and your dream is actually to work in this particular auto industry such as DT Dobby, right? So this can be a very good engineering course for you. So generally, uh, in Kenya, we it's actually ranked as one of the best uh, engineering courses, right? So you can be able to become automotive technician, you will become automotive engineer or trainer, you can become workshop technician, uh, you can also become company mechanic, and of course you can become a vehicle electrician. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you are still hanging around and you find that this particular information is useful, kindly take a second or two, right? Just hit on that subscribe button and notification button so that you are at you are placed in a in a uh, in a chance where you can always get to understand uh, this particular informative videos that we normally produce. And for those of us who have already subscribed, uh, thanks for your continued support. Now, I'd promised to show you some of the free resources or other websites that you can always get all these courses for free. Underline the word free, 100% free. So you can always take time log into this particular website that I'm going to show you so that at least you have some kind of uh, knowledge before maybe you enroll at your various universities. But before that, let's conclude. So which is the best engineering course? Ideally, it's very difficult to say that this and that. But going by the statist uh, statistics that we have, it is said that some of the engineering disciplines that you have mentioned are more or much marketable, right? Uh, talk about mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, uh, automotive engineering, and civil engineering are seen as most marketable or are in demand, right? In, within our current <laughs> economy, right? So yes, but uh, all in all, the 10 that you have mentioned are mo the most marketable engineering courses that you can always pursue. So let's uh, maybe go straight uh, to this particular website and see uh, how you can be able to actually uh, enroll for this free course. The name of the website is known as Allison. I've shared the link. Just click within the, uh, just click within the, um, the description. There's a link I've shared there, right? It will take you to this particular website. Allison. So you can see free online automotive engineering courses. This is just for automotive. We also have mechanical as, and you can see 
all these right you can always enroll for free and get some information you can see right there are very many engineering courses right we have electronic uh, electric vehicle right so many so many so just click within the description i've shared that particular link right we have also mechanical engineering if you want to just click there right so yes ladies and gentlemen i had promised to share with you the free website and here we are right so yes as a matter of fact always subscribe thank you